Hey loves, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita and on my channel I like to post videos about my budget, my journey to becoming debt free and also cash stuff in videos. If that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you find yourself enjoying today's video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But in today's video, I am finally closing out my August budget. It is September, but you know, better late than never. So what I am going to do is close it out. Hopefully I am close enough and you can all see what's going on over here. So paycheck one, <clears throat> excuse me, budgeted $1,600, got $1,793. Paycheck two, budgeted $1,600, got $1,703. I had a rollover of $264 from July. Other, budgeted zero, got zero. Resale, I budgeted zero. I, I got, I think that last one was 17, so I got uh, 57. And then YouTube, I got $139. So let's go ahead and add all of that up. That gives us a August income of $3,956. Take that $3,956 and subtract all of my bills from the month of August. That total $1,055. Hopefully you guys can see it. Let me scoot that out the way. There we go. So they total $1,055. So I'm going to subtract that $1,055 from $3,956. That gives us a leftover of $2,901. We're gonna take that $2,901 and subtract my debt. So my debt totaled 1381. I had, was wanted to um, pay a little extra on my Capital One, but I didn't. So Capital One only paid 700, budgeted 700. Access One budgeted 329, paid 329. Visa slash is a MasterCard now, but it was my Gap card. They changed to from Visa to MasterCard. I budgeted two fifty two, paid two fifty two, didn't pay anything on student loans. UMC budgeted a hundred and paid a hundred. Uh, AMR, it's part of my debt, but I paid fifty six dollars with my HSA, and I do not put my HSA in my budget. All of that totaled thirteen eighty one. So I am going to subtract that from twenty nine oh one. That gives us a leftover of 1520. Make sure I did it right. Yep. So I'm going to take that 1520 and subtract my bank sinking from what I put into the bank for the month of August. That totaled 530. So I budgeted 185 for gifts. I put 185. Kids, I budgeted 20, put 20. Travel slash vacay, I put. Uh, budgeted 50 put 50 emergency fund I budgeted 100 and put 100 house I budgeted 100 but I put 75 fund I budgeted 50 and put 50 auto I budgeted 50 and put 50 so what I'm going to do is subtract that 530 from that 1520 that gives us a leftover of $990 so I'm going to take that $990 and put it towards my uh envelopes so i did you know i just didn't fill it out i put all of that in there oops let me just go ahead and put it in now because this is what i put all right so <clears throat> i budgeted five put five spending money 10 put 10 gas budgeted 20 and put 20 groceries i budgeted 178 and put 178 Beauty, I budgeted 20 and put 20. My hair, I budgeted 20 and put 20. Zion, I budgeted 5 and put 5. So I'm going to, that all equal 258. I'm going to subtract that 258 from 990. Giving us a leftover of 732. Now, for, um, I'm going to subtract that 700. I'm going to use, Lord, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to subtract my sinking funds envelopes from that 732 it totaled 165 so minus 165 that gives us a rollover of 567 dollars not bad for the month of august all right so yeah month of august pretty good had a little extra money that i wasn't expecting these two things just a little bit not a lot and then of course, I made a little bit more with my actual paychecks. But that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.
Jesus.